Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Vault Hunters. I realized last episode that I wasn't very clear and I didn't bother to explain some things. The server has been updated to the latest version of Update 12. And in that, there are quite a few changes. I don't want to get into a lot of them today, but this little guy floating above my head is something I want to cover. This little guy floating above my head is an Idona charm. It increases the affinity that I have toward one of the Vault Gods. And this is important because affinity is how you gain God reputation. As you can see, we've gotten a few points in several of the Vault Gods. Your Vault God reputation is important because it allows you to make a Divine Paradox Vault Crystal, which allows you to run a Divine Paradox Vault that you build and customize to fit your needs. You can run this vault once a day, more accurately every 20 hours, and it can have some major, major benefits. However, I think we should do our best to gain some God reputation today. First things first though, as you can tell, I've been running some vaults in search of artifacts. I know a few of these are from Prosperous Vaults, so let's go ahead and open these up and see what kind of loot we get. I assume some of them might have went into our back into the backpack already. Well, we'll just go ahead and just dump all of this stuff in here and let our filter sort it out. I've also got some artifacts and charms that we can identify too. We'll come back to the artifacts in a minute. Let's go ahead and figure out this equipment. Identify these. Mm, pretty sure we got some dupes in there. This one goes here. There's a dupe. Uh, this one. Yep, there's a dupe. Right up there. This one is also a dupe. Right there. And this one is also a dupe. Throw them on the floor and light them on fire. That always scares me. That one is also a dupe. That one looks new though. It is new. Awesome. So now we have. And we only have eight more to go. Like I said earlier, we're going to run for some Vault God reputation. Uh, but, currently do have a Scavenger Hunt completion bounty that gives a lot of steel. Uh, so we are also going to try to do that at the same time. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay, looks like it's just a normal old winter themed vault. So the scab looks pretty hard. Uh, none of my keybinds are right. Oh, that's awesome. What the heck happened? I don't have any skills. All right, so uh, that's not cool. Uh. I'm not sure what happened. I looked into it a little bit, um, and as far as I can tell, just all of my skill points have just disappeared. Talents are perfectly fine. Uh, it is literally just my skills. So I'm going to take a minute to figure out how many points I've spent in talents, how many skill points I should be, should have, and I'm going to use a command to give myself those skill points. All right, so it looks like I should have
47 skill points. And I guess I'll go figure out what those should be spent on. All right, uh, I believe I have it fixed. Dash works, heal works, downfall works. Well, I guess let's get into another scav. Oh, and we're blessed with a relatively easy one. Ores. I need ores for my bounty, but I don't need them for the scav, so I'll probably skip them. More ores, but there's an altar, so let's hit it. No reputation, but at least we passed it. Bound and complete. time with an elixir vault. No bounty reason, just they're easier to complete. A living village would be awesome right now. Thank it. A living village would be awesome right now. One of these days, the living village would be awesome right now. Nope. Oh, well, not completing that one. So, what's the bad stuff? Some. Healing is very inefficient. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh man, they weren't joking. There's one. And ours. Kill horde mobs. Cool. Four more, really?
There we go. Ooh. And that is the noise of success, my friends. Heck yeah, but there's another favor. And another one down. Just seven more to go.
Doesn't look like I'm gonna get this one. I keep getting screwed in rooms. To continue our discussion from earlier, we have two new seals. We have the seal of the creator, which we combine with our vault crystal to run our divine paradox vaults in build mode, so that we can decide what rooms go into it. Then we have the seal of the ordinator, which is combined with a crystal to run our divine paradox vault in run mode, so that we can run our built crystal. Since we've got some new reputation points, let's go ahead and run one. Something to note, uh, since I've already ran the Divine Paradox in build mode before, we have to reset my Divine Paradox Vault. So we have to combine it with a Paradoxical Gem, which is kind of expensive. You should really use these wisely, but since I failed to inform you guys, I'm going to take the hit. So, we reset it, so we can go. Oh. You should take as much gold as you can into these vaults. Because you'll use it. And, we run our crystal. And this is the Divine Paradox Vault. As you can see, we can leave just like normal. But what's not normal is we're literally building a vault. You can see at the north, east, south, and west of this vault, there are four doors. If we go to it and right click it with gold in our hand, it will open that door and begin to build the vault. Notice it costs one Valara reputation and 20 vault gold. That vault gold is not getting, not gained back, it is lost. And if I go to click this door, it builds a common room onto the vault with, it looks like, luck and maybe 1x wooden. And now it's giving us ornate, wealthy, and vault time. Put our gold in our hand. Click the door. We have a bunch of Windar, so let's go ahead and follow Windar. Mobs won't spawn in this vault, even though there will be spawners and you will hear them fizzle until you run it in run mode. Ona. And we will go ahead and go with this war room. Ona, I don't uh, and uh, I don't uh, wealth. I don't know wooden and wealthy. Go oh, here. What uh, do we have? Valara. Lara. Come over here. Unfortunately, we may have to turn back because I don't believe I do have enough reputation. Okay. Ooh, Wild West. Oh. I wonder if I have enough for this. Right here we have Jonah, another orb room. Windar. Factory for Idona. Nos and Idona. I don't think we have. We do. Cool. I'm getting kind of long gold. For our reputation, we have soul shards and ornate. 
X mark, rapid mobs and wooden. Full shards, wealthy and time. I don't have enough reputation. I mean, you should also note you can't actually mine in here. Don't have enough reputation. And not enough reputation. All right, we go back and try a different way. There we go. And our X mark. We can open up this tunnel here. When it says tunnel, that just means that you've opened the room on the other side. And you can just open this tunnel to connect the rooms. Not enough reputation, though that mushroom would be pretty cool. All right, I think that's going to do us for now. And now that we've div and now that we've built our divine paradox vault, it's time to run. And you can see these altars here, and at the top we have a number of blessings, just like in a scav vault. One of the objectives in this vault is to gather those blessings from each room, bring them back here, and deposit them. And you get them just like you would in a scav vault, uh, just by opening chests, killing mobs, etc., etc. Anyway, let's uh, get into it. You only have a limited amount of time in here, so you want to try to focus on the POIs that you're going to get the best return from. Apparently not what I'm doing right now. And that's a Divine Paradox Vault. They get a lot better as you increase in reputation, uh, at least from what I saw from Iskiel's videos. But you need the reputation. So that's what I'll be doing in between episodes. I'll be doing my best to build reputation with Vault Gods. Hopefully, next episode, you can see a fully decked out uh, Divine Paradox Vault. But that is going to do it for today's episode. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you again. And until next time, bye.